Generic greetings, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episode, we started a new campaign. It's a large map on the medium slash normal setting, and then we went ahead and built the Bombard. As you can see, it is uh, 2.3k's worth of uh, credits, so if we go to design and open the design, you can see that the Bombard is there. It's um, not too bad, I don't think. We've only tested it once, and obviously we're going to be trying to uh, uh, change that up in this episode by uh, flinging it into as many situations as possible to evaluate it somewhat. It is fairly heavy because it's got a lot of armour on it, obviously a lot of this uh, steel armour, but that did serve it very well when it was getting shot at by two airships with about half its size, actually probably a little bit smaller, but um, two airships with grape shot and cannon, I believe it was, as well as two static defences with cannons and rifles. So not a lot of heavy firepower coming into it. We're not talking like, you know, monster cannons or torpedoes or anything like that, but enough for giving us a little bit of something to think about. So overall, I'm quite happy with it. The only thing is it ran out of ammo. I could probably change that up by either adding another ammo store or just putting it on aim fire because at the end of the day, we're in it for the long haul. we got the heavy armor and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to say invade over there and then unpause it. And we do want to try and take these out. Now, obviously, while we're doing all of that, we have to look around about here and see what they're going. This guy here, this, um, this cross, the uh, white background uh, black cross, is the one to watch out because they have well as you saw perhaps they have um they have i think it's four or five territories now so we're gonna have to worry about that anyway we'll start this one up what we're gonna do is get both of these and we're gonna aim fire on the first or we're gonna aim on the first and then i will change it to aim fire this guy is going to ram to about there this guy is going to move down to about here and that'll mean the uh, top gun will get into uh fire arc as well and then we're going to have that one in aim fire and that one in aim fire as well now because what they're armed with will not really bother us too much i'm in it for the long haul and we're just going to keep uh, blatting away here so this thing has got 90 out of 100 ammo so considering it's only got two guns it's actually got a lot more ammo uh, compared to this thing um per gun i mean because we've got we've got well, more than double the cannon and also two of the dorsal and ventral guns as well. So, yeah, maybe this one does require some more ammo. But we are chipping away very, very well at uh, this guy here. As you can see, we're just taking the top off. They're just armed with rifles. So this is this is probably a win unless something goes hideously wrong. Immediately, that's just been taken out there. So they've stopped firing. And we're just going to... No, they've surrendered. There you go. There's a victory. So we're going to go with a gentle takeover there. And then we're going to move back to our original position because I want to make sure that this guy doesn't try anything. If we're going to view city, we can see that they have a couple of flyers. One, uh, one flyer, and ah, there's the problem. There's the problem. They have a lot of air, and I can't deal with that. So what I'm going to do is probably make another vessel. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to, actually we'll, we'll wait until we've got a bit more money, and this has taken over, and we'll probably shore up the defences there, and... Uh, Make sure everything's all right. Although we can't really show up the defenses because we don't have any defenses. Or do we? I did change. Uh, I, I did make one fairly drastic decision that um, uh, well, not really drastic, but I uh, I I put all of the older ships that we have not made. So the ones, sorry, all the ones that we have made into a legacy folder. So they're all there. But we're not using them unless we need to. We've still got things like the Black Citadel and all of the generic stuff that start you start the game with. It's all in here, but haven't used it um speaking of the black citadel i think we are going to uh we are going to place one and we're going to place it about there i think this is in our uh, home area and as you can see very very quick to build there once that's this is done actually we'll go to um defenses and you can see we've got a couple of things here we're going to repair that one we're going to repair that one get them both repaired shouldn't take long to do that oh they're attacking they're attacking down here if i move they're going to get there first yes they are in that case, I will invade there. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better change. <laughs> as soon as they're coming there, I, I, I changed my fleet to go there. Didn't work out. They were still going. As soon as I say attack them, they're going, oh, oh and they're the altered their course and went the other way. So we're going to say build building. We're going to say Black Citadel, and we'll have another one of those. So we'll put it in between the two because it's got some flak, you see, and we'll leave that. And that shouldn't take too long to build. Actually, it's taking a little while to build. Um, So we, we could... Build a flak vessel. We could do that. We could do that. Um, the problem we have is really, I want to use airships. I, I could use a ground vessel on these ones. I could just make. I mean, I could just say, uh, design landship, 
and pretty much have something like this. Um, tracks. Something, something, something. Flack. Like that. And we have made something like that before. That would work. Would it work very well? Don't know. I don't really know. Um, we need to be able to take out aircraft. What's the best thing we can take out aircraft with? The deck gun works. Shoots troops and planes. Dorsal. Doesn't say shoots troops and planes. Bombay definitely doesn't. I believe the grape shot cannon will do that. Yes, troops and planes. Flak cannon certainly does. Grenades. I don't think you can grenade a plane. It's not battlefield. So yeah, grape shot cannon. Flak turret. Rifle also does it. Yes, rifle. Troops and planes. Saw blade. That actually works as well. Although that might be a little bit overkill. <laughs> um, That's more Wily e. Coyote <laughs> style. <laughs> Using a saw blade to take an aircraft out. I've seen worse. So... Do we want to do that? Or do we want to make like a fast grape shot thing? Well, I think design ship we're going to go for we've made very, very small fighters before. But what I'm going to do is have perhaps something along the same design as we have just there. It's not going to be tiny. It's not going to be large either. Two grape shot. I like that. We could put a deck gun on it, but I don't think we need to. Two grape shot. And then rifles like that. And this one is going to be nowhere near as arm uh, armoured as the last one. But we'll have an ammo store like that. We'll have crew down there. We're not even going to have a fire point. It's, it is it is going to be the smallest vessel I can manage here. Command and crew. Bridge. No. Uh, oh, that's a question. Do we want a bridge or do we want a cockpit? Ideally, a cockpit is... Well, it's the small version, obviously. So maybe that's the way forward. Is it, though? Is it? I don't know. Corridor there. Command and crew. Crow's nest. Like that. And then... How are we going to do this? The problem is that we don't have access to that, so... Now we do. There we go. So resources. Coal store. It's a bit large. That's fine. Propulsion and lift. Um... That's not terrible. Hmm, can't have that. Can't have steel wall though. What's the difference? Five blast damage, three piercing. Twelve blast, six piercing. So, I guess. Steel is okay. It's fine. That's not terrible. I mean, it's 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 uh, four hundred and thirty-six. So it's quite cheap. Two grape shot cannons and two standard cannon. More than enough ammo to keep that going. It will stay in the air with this with this here. 
The only thing it can't do is repair itself, heal the crew, and also defend itself against boarding, as well as uh, put out fires. So apart from all of that, <laughs> it can do loads of stuff. Do I want a fire point? A fire point might be useful. Do we have a small fire point? I know we do in mods. Fire dawn, fire point. Sadly not. Sadly not. So it might be prudent to have a fire point. It does make it longer, but it doesn't make it overly expensive. What it does do is mess up the walkways. The, the, uh, the pathing. Because they have to go along there and down and round. We also don't have enough crew. We could fix this easily by having another corridor here, but then, then we're feature creeping it. If we can make it under 500, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'm not going to bother. I'll set this. I'll set that as the target, okay? So, corridor. Two of those. Right. Okay, not bad. That there, that there. Command and crew. Birth. Bang. 514. Service ceiling of 13 meters. It's too heavy. It's way too heavy. I am carrying around many gallons of water. See, we're taking that off 41 meters. It's that. It is that. It's the problem. You know what? It is prudent to have the ability to put out fires, but quite frankly, we could just have so many of the, many more of these. Okay, we're gonna go with that again. Always version one. Try it. If it doesn't work. We can always redesign it. Right? There's no problem there. So, small nameplate. Currently called the Botfly. Um, you know what? I actually don't mind that. It is a little annoying thing that buzzes around you and pecks away. Maybe that's... That's fine. Yeah, go on then. Save design. Save. Build one. We're going to build probably two or three. And then we're just going to assault. Give that an unpause there. Plus 75. More than enough. For our needs. So, just keep building these. So, oh my god, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's now taken over. We need these to really start giving him a good hammering. I'm hoping that one of the thing that's added in the next big update for this version ten for the campaign mode is to or uh, the conquest mode is to form alliances. Player alliances. Well, play with friend with um, other AI. Because it's me versus the world. Here. Um, and I'd like to be able to say, look, this guy, look. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. We're just going to attack north. Like, or, you know, issue either uh, full alliances, so it's just we're all together. Um, or non-aggression pacts, or... or that sort of thing. That would be quite good. I mean, I'm not talking about a full-on um, Hearts of Iron for uh, Cassius Belli sort of war goal system and all that sort of thing. I don't need that. What I'm saying is just a couple of basic options would be quite um, quite good. So we're just going to attack. As you can see, very slow. I don't know what's the slow. Actually, it's the Bombard. I know what's the speed. The, pro the Bombard is the speed issue. We could just put a small engine on the back and it'll massively increase that. So, we are versing one airship at the back there. And then, as you can see, we've got a, a, an airfield there, which has got a deck gun and three... Are they biplanes? Triplanes. Three of. Uh, and one on the roof there as well. So, it's the, they're, they're going to be a little bit of an issue. Also, need to take that guy out as well. So, we're going to move our Bombard, as always, right to the back. The ramming thing will be, oh, in prime ramming location. We're going to move those right to the back there. One thing we haven't done is gone for a very high service ceiling. You know what? 
for the first time almost ever. We have something that like sort of resembles like, like that, that looks like a sort of fleet to me. That makes sense. I mean, you know, it looks sort of like it could be from the same faction. Um, but also, it sprays the hell out of everything. So, I uh, shouldn't have pressed start there, but hey ho. Let's move down. They're going to target that one. And we're taking the server ceiling down. There's the planes. There's the planes. So, there's the Daka Daka. There you go. Oh, there's one of them down, two of them down, and see that? <laughs> that, well, that's the only thing that is left of the plane, the, the airship that was flying through there. It is totally gone, utterly destroyed. Wow. That's, uh, I don't think I've ever seen that in that level of destruction. So I'm going to move this forward. I'm going to just keep escorting this. We are taking down the planes. We've taken down half of them now. Obviously, this one here. We're going to go into ramming positions. And here we go. Oh, you're joking. Just as I pressed R and then clicked here, it went, let's go. And then the suspendium chamber exploded. Typical. Okay, bring these grape shot things forward because we might as well just base camp. There we go. We are going to go ahead and bring this forward. It looks like the grape shots are... The bot flies are working quite well, actually. Obviously, we've got rid of all of the, all the aircraft, which is exactly what these were meant for. So the grape shots have worked fantastically well. Um, this is still very much in action. It's lost the suspendium chamber, and which means it's probably going to be destroyed at the end of this fight. But it did still have two guns. Either way, Fortress is, uh, Fortress is disarmed. Uh, two other ones surrendered and one destroyed, and that's going to be a gentle takeover. There we go. So we've lost the Irma Vep, and that's going to be, I'm guessing, yeah, the, the ramming vessel that we started with. Bit of a shame, actually, because it wasn't terrible, that one. So we've got a gentle takeover there. Not bad at all. Okay, so we have... Oh, my. We really need to start taking a chunk out of those, but uh, just with the amount of stuff we've got, it's going to be a problem. I don't think this guy's going to be able to hold on. Nah, I mean, I'm really going to have to start um, hitting them here. Let's start st sending some spies to the uh, the city zoop north, and we'll see what the deal is there. So we'll view, view the city. They've got a couple of defences that I can deal with. I think, I think I'm going to have to invade them there. Probably build a couple of defences around here first. Um, actually, what I'll do is repair all of these first, like that. And then once they're done, which, wow, does not take any time whatsoever, really, does it? Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, my good grief. I don't think I can stop that guy steamrolling. I mean, he's just getting absolutely hammered and repelling the pirate. He, he's hammering everybody, rather. I don't know what I can do there. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Luckily, perhaps for me, no, hang on. Yeah, that doesn't connect. Okay, so, he has got a, now a ground vessel. He can either split that fleet up or he can move the ground vessel to other places, but he can't attack on the sea because he needs a deep water port to get there. He's got Everybody else around here not connected via land. So these guys can happily go and attack him. And he can't do anything about it unless he splits his fleet up. Well, his forces, which is the ground and the air. However, I think he's left... Oh, and he's got one there as well. So I don't know what that is. Either way, I think we have to take this guy down a peg or two. If we do not slow him down, 
this series is over very quickly. So I'm going to leave it there. Next episode, uh, probably build more, just build some more stuff and send it up there. And it's going to be attacking. Don't know if we're going to be doing any building unless we come up against something that we really need to make a new design with. So far, two for two, quite well. Both designs are functioning exactly as intended, although we haven't really had a really tough, difficult fight. But um, I think that's coming up next. As always, uh, let me know in the comments what you think we should build, all of that sort of thing. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.